Welcome to Wild Dish. I'm Izzy Hossack, and as most of you know, I'm a dessert blogger. There's been a lot of press about how we should be reducing our free sugar intake, so I decided to set myself a challenge. I cut all forms of refined and unrefined sugars from my diet for two whole months and replaced them with good natural sugars. Today I'm going to show you how to make a butternut squash loaf cake, which is gluten-free and dairy-free. Don't worry, it's not fun-free, it's completely delicious. I've got a roasted butternut squash here. You don't need to peel it, just kind of cut it in half and scoop out the seeds. And then you can put that in the oven at 180 degrees C and it will take about 30 to 40 minutes to roast. So you just want to take a spoon and then scoop the flesh out, leaving the skin behind. So although these recipes are all naturally sweetened things that I came up with while I was doing my two months of sugar-free living, I did occasionally slip up accidentally had ketchup once, didn't really think about it, has loads of sugar in it, but you know, you just don't beat yourself up about it. And put it straight into a blender. Don't worry about memorizing all the weights and stuff and everything, because the entire recipe is in the box, in the description box below. So next I'm going to get an egg, put the first one in, and I'm just gonna get a little bit of salt, pinch of fat in, and here I've got some mixed spice. So this is just a combination of things like ground cinnamon and ginger and stuff. So it kind of has that Christmassy, lovely spicy kind of flavor to it. Because I really, really like cinnamon. I'm gonna add extra cinnamon to it as well. So I've also got some baking powder here. Just half a teaspoon of that. And also baking soda or bicarbonate soda. It's another leavening agent, so it's gonna make the cake nice and light. Then I've got some corn flour here. It's just kind of like bind the ingredients together because again, this is a gluten-free recipe, so there's nothing holding it together like where you have normal cakes because the gluten in wheat flour is what holds things together. So the corn flour just helps with that. And I've got melted coconut oil here. So this will keep the recipe dairy-free as well. So we're just gonna add that in and it's gonna make it really moist again. So the coconut oil is basically like an alternative to butter and baking. You can always use melted butter if that's all you have on hand. It just means more people can enjoy the cake. Then we're gonna add in some ground almonds, which have loads of protein and healthy fats and fiber in them as well. So all good. And this is what's gonna make up the bulk of the cake. A splash of water, because it will just help get the blender going. Just pop the lid on. So we're ready to get this into a pan. Just pour it straight in. So once you're satisfied that you've got everything out of the blender, just spread the batter out evenly in the pan. And now this can go into an oven which has been preheated to 180 degrees centigrade. So you just want to turn it out into a wire rack and then leave it to cool while you make your topping. I've got softened coconut butter here. It's different to coconut oil because it's actually got the flesh of the coconut in it. So it's actually thicker and also has a really sweet taste to it and a coconutty flavour. And I'm going to add a pinch of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. So the coconut butter is great because it's thick and it's also creamy, but you don't actually have to use any powdered sugar in this. So obviously that's good for our sugar-free baking. It's okay if the cake is still a little bit warm when it goes on because it's just going to melt all onto the cake. And let it drip down the edges as well. And just for some decoration, I'm going to chop some pecans up because pecans and cinnamon are such a good combo. And because the glaze is still warm, it's going to stick the pecans on there. So then when it cools down, they'll actually stay on the cake. Some pumpkin seeds, which are a lovely bright green colour. So just sprinkle some of those on too. There we go, my deliciously moist butternut squash cake with a lovely cinnamon glaze. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you try it. You can click here to subscribe to the channel and you can click here to see more videos from me. See you next time.